Hi guys, it's Liza. It is November the 19th and this is Talk To Me Tuesday. I'm sorry if the volume of this is really low. I'm talking quietly because I'm recording this at 9.30 at night um, and apparently that is super late for my neighbor downstairs who as soon as I walked across the room began pounding on my floor. So they are in a mood tonight and they have called the police on me before for things like this. Um, and I don't want the police coming tonight. So anyways, so forgive me if I'm talking quietly, it's because of that. I know it's been a while. I have been very, very busy lately. Um, I have, my father has been in town, he came to visit me. And I've been working like crazy. Um, my job at the museum that I have is only till January, it's only temporary till January, so I'm getting as much work in as I possibly can and hoping that something will continue past that. We'll see. Um, who knows what's going to happen come January, but my lease also expires in January and I really would like to move, the downstairs neighbor being one of the reasons I would like to move, um, but so I'm looking for apartments now as well. I'm financially trying to find a place that I can live in. So my life is kind of crazy right now, but what else is new? That seems to be a common thing for me. Uh, I have been busy crafting though. I'm going to insert pictures of things because quite honestly, a lot of the stuff that I have is to share is a little large and difficult to fit on screen. So. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is a quilt that I made for a friend of mine. It is waiting to have the name put on it. Uh, I'm going to applique a name on it. It is a baby quilt for her. Um, I'm going to applique the name right underneath the owl and you'll see what I mean here. And. Once they share the name, which they're not going to share the name of the child until um, she's actually born. So once they share her name, I'll applique the name on, quilt it, bind it, and get it to them. So the baby's due in December, but I have the quilt ready to go. And I have a lovely minky to go on the back. Uh, a lot of places have been having uh, big sales recently on fabric, so I wouldn't normally back something in Minky, but because it was so cheap, because it was on sale, I decided since this was a special quilt, I would go ahead and do that for them. So I have that. I also have the crochet afghan that was the star that I began. I finished that, and here's a picture of that. It is not very large. Uh, it's probably a really good size for a small baby. Um, it's, it's a baby quilt. I'm, I mean, it's a baby afghan. So, I mean, it's a good size for a baby, but it's not going to be something that the child's going to continue on with once they're older. Um, it's also one of those things that doesn't really hold its shape because of the yarn that I use to make it. So, when you pick it up, it doesn't stay in a star. It just kind of falls. So it's going to be a really good uh, afghan to use to place on the ground while a baby's playing and such. But And it's nice and soft. I love the yarn that I used for it. I've also made a tree skirt and here's a picture of that. The tree skirt is actually up on my Etsy page. Um, it is currently for sale. It was, I had this charm pack that I had gotten on clearance a couple years ago after the holidays. Um, because it was just one charm pack, I never knew what to do with it. And so I decided this year I was gonna do something with it because I was tired of it taking up space. Um, so, I just kind of laid it out and created a really small, uh, well, I mean, a, a decent size, I mean, a smaller sized tree skirt with it. 
Um, it's the first tree skirt I've attempted. It's also the first time I've ever bound anything with a circle. Um, I will not be attempting that again. <laughs> Uh, binding in a circle was a lot more of a challenge than I thought it was going to be and I don't particularly like the way that the center looks but I'll adjust that and deal with that at a different time when I do another project with a circle but it's something anything else with circles that I have to bind is probably gonna go on the back burner um, I also began today actually I got during the sales when I got that minky fabric for the backing of the one quilt, I also got um, just a panel, a child, a panel for a nursery quilt. Um, it wasn't anything special, didn't really have anything in mind for it, just thought that'll make a real quick, easy quilt to make. Um, something that's an affordable option for people, because I know a lot of people look at my quilts and go, oh, I'd love to have one, but I can't afford the $70 that you charge for a quilt. So because it was just a panel that basically all I'm doing is quilting on it, um, I'm not adding anything to it. I'm just quilting it, binding it, done. Um, I kind of decided that's going to be something that's going to be really cheap to sell as an option for people. So here is this. I don't have a picture of it. I'm actually going to show you that. Um, but I just started this today, and so here is it. here it is. It's a cute little farm scene. Oops. And I use spray basting when I quilt, so sometimes the spray basting doesn't always stick near the edges. But there's that, and what I'm basically doing is I'm just kind of outlining like I've outlined the clouds and everything. I'm basically outlining everything on there. I'm gonna outline the outer edge here and trim it, bind it, and put it up for sale. Maybe somebody will want it for the holidays for a little boy or something. Um, but yeah, it was just something simple. I'm not gonna do a whole lot with it. I'm just outlining and I'm not gonna do an in-between all over. Um, or anything on it. It's just, it is what it is. And I think it's going to be cute. It's another thing. Uh, the backing I used is a brown flannel that I've had for quite some time. So it's another thing. It was a one yard remnant that I picked up that it's, it was the perfect size for the backing for this. And so it's another thing that I get out of my stash with the idea that I'm gonna probably be moving in January and not knowing where I'm going to be moving, I may have to move back to Kentucky with my family. Um, if financially I can't find another position, uh, Denver, Colorado is actually a very expensive place to live. Um, and so if I can't find an affordable place to live, I can't afford to stay in the current place that I'm at because they're raising my rent by $100 a month and I don't have an extra $100 a month. Um, so it may end up being a situation where I have to move back with my family. Knowing all of that, I'm trying to clean out my stash of craft supplies and everything. And you can see in the back here, I have some boxes that I'm saving so that I can pack. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a few of the things I've done. When my dad came to visit, he actually brought me a lot of his old neckties. Um, and like this one's an old Christmas necktie that he had. Um, but he brought me a lot of his old neckties because I've seen a lot of projects with neckties recently. Um, I have a pattern for a purse that can be made with old neckties. Um, and I'm a person that likes to recycle um, materials when possible. so. He has so many neckties because that's what my sister and I used to get him for Christmas every year was a new necktie. Um, so he had, I think he said he had somewhere around 60 neckties and he doesn't wear them anymore. So I'm probably going to do something with those here soon. I still have the bag with the Tanner Faust logo I need to finish. Um, Tanner Faust was actually, I had hoped to have it done by the beginning of this month because Tanner Faust was actually in town, um, but unfortunately didn't quite get that finished work. Like I said, has just been 
crazy and I didn't get it finished. Um, I actually didn't even get to go to the event that he was at because I had to work. So, unfortunately didn't get to get all of that done, but yeah, that's everything basically. So I'm gonna go crochet because I found some more of that red yarn to finish up the red and white afghan that I've showed several times. So hopefully I can get that off my plate and finish that, and that won't make no any noise, so that shouldn't bother my neighbor. Um, but I will try to keep up with videos. Sorry it's been so long, but with the holidays coming up, who knows what's going to happen. Uh, but I hope everybody is crafting and having a good month, a good week, a good year, a good whatever. And I will see you next time I make a video. Bye, guys!